Good afternoon, everybody. This is Miss Marie from Lewisboro Library, and today we're going to have boredom busters. Now, today we're going to be making a hippopotamus out of paper plates. So make sure you have at least two or three paper plates on hand and your scissors and some glue, uh, liquid and sticky, or the glue stick, always good to have a backup. And also what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need paint. So I got this craft studio paint. Um, I have it in like a gray and a pink so that um, I use those to do my plates, which I actually did ahead of time. There is the mouth of the hippopotamus and there's the back. So that's the first plate. And the other plate is gray, okay? And if, if you look on the uh, website, the picture, you'll see how um, the mouth is gonna be folded and then the pink is the mouth. And then you're gonna have the back piece as the head, okay? So I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to get that together. And um, when you come back, you should have your, um, your plate all painted. We're going to start with this one. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start uh, forming it, okay? So I'm gonna give you a couple minutes to gather up your things and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back everybody. You should have all your supplies and also your paint. I'm gonna need a paintbrush. I have a, a little sponge here and um, my paintbrush. So what you're gonna to wanna to do, make sure you put like a, a shirt over yourself or an apron because it gets really, really mess, messy when we're painting. So the first plate you want to do is you want to do the double-sided plate, okay? So you're going to paint one side pink, which is what I did, and the other side you're going to paint gray, okay? And if for some reason you don't have the paint on hand, you can use markers or crayons or construction paper with that color, okay? So you want to do the first plate first, and then the second plate, just um, the gray. Alrighty, mine kind of dried for the last uh, you know couple hours, so it got a little um, mushy. So you want to give it time to dry. That's why I'm doing this uh, board and busters and segments now, so that you can stop and go and and follow me as I go through it. Okay. I also want to remind you. Some of the other supplies you're going to need um, with white paper or cardstock and gray paper or cardstock. You want to have just a little bit of those. You, you actually just need a tiny bit because what you're going to do is you're going to make the hippo's ears and you're going to make the hippo's little, um, I think it's a little tusk or the little teeth. Okay, so you're going to make two of these. and. The googly eyes, I had it on the list. You want to get, oops, okay. You want to get the biggest pair of googly eyes that you can for this project, okay? So, you want to do your painting, let it dry, and while you're letting that dry, you're going to cut out two little hippopotamus ears, about that size, and two um, teeth, or one tooth, two of them for the hippo's teeth, okay? So you're gonna do that. And also, you're gonna grab your googly eyes, alrighty? And after you're done with that, and everything's dried, you wanna put um, your eyes and your teeth and the ears aside, and you're gonna be left with this one and this one. Okay, now, um, hold on, let me pull up a, um, a picture of the uh, hippopotamus I have. 
okay and it should look something like that you see how the paint is the paper plate is actually shaped what you want to do is once you've painted it um, you could do it before you paint it but um, I honestly didn't have much time to do that so um, I'm going to do it now so what I'm going to do is trace out an oval um, again it's probably better to do it um, let me try doing it on the empty one probably better to draw it from the plate and what you want to do is just make it like an oval um, not really doing this good it's hard to draw on the plate but you kind of want to make it oval like that and then cut it out Actually going to use this as a template. Okay, and that funny template plate. Okay, a little afternoon humor. Okay, so yep, want to cut it out in somewhat of a an oval shape, and we can always trim it later. And then the other part. Um, you're going to have the other plate and you want to make sure you do the same for that. So I'm taking the one I just cut and I'm using it as um, you know, a template or just as a, a guide and I'm going to cut around so that I have two plates. Okay, so probably better you do this first before you paint it, but that's okay. We can go back and redo that. Okay, so here you go. You have the two plates cut, and then you're going to paint them. And I'm actually going to take this now and use my little um, use the, you know, my little template, and I'm going to trace. It's probably easier if I do it on the back so that I don't mess up. So as you can see, I'm just doing that on the back so um, I can cut out. There we go. And you're not really cutting the uh, top and the bottom because those still have the paper plate ridges so you should be able to keep that intact. But um, here we go. I'm going to cut the green. This side. Okay, doesn't really look perfect, but we will uh, get it where it needs to be. Now, this is going to be the hippo's, the back of the head. And so, what I need to do now is to trace the inside plate. Okay. So I'm going to trace the inside plate, which is the pink for the inside of the hippo's mouth. I'm going to trace that. Okay, and I traced it. So now I'm going to cut this out. This is going to be the head, and this is going to be the um, the mouth. Okay, and I'm going to put these aside. I'm going to take out my googly eyes and my little ears and the little teeth. Okay, so now I have this plate and that plate. So I have the double one here in front and that plate. Okay, and what I want to do is I'm going to fold it. Okay, so now I'm folding it so it overlaps 
and that coal overlaps. So that's going to be the mouth of the hippo. So now I'm going to need to fasten that together, uh, probably with some glue, but um, I would recommend possibly staples if you have them because um, I don't think the glue is going to be enough and you really have to give it time to stay. So I'm going to glue it anyway and I may have to reinforce it with staples. Okay, so let me open this up a little better. Okay, a little stuck. Okay, sometimes the glue gets a little bit stuck and we usually have to take a pin to open it up. I think I got that. Okay, so let's see if this will work now. Oh yeah, I'm putting a lot a lot of glue in there. Okay, and glue that down. Hello there, everyone. How are you today? <laughs> hey, does your hippo talk too? Hey, where's my teeth? Ooh, we need some teeth, do we? Alrighty, so where about is his teeth gonna be, boys and girls? Let's see. Where does his teeth go? Right in the front. So we wanna put a little bit on here. And then we want to put it like that. And then we want to take another one, put a little glue on that. Okay. Ah! You really got to let this, this glue together and, and dry a little bit. But there's his tea. Okay, and now we want to put his eyes. Let's give him some eyes. Hmm. And I wonder what we're going to name our hippos. Think of a name, boys and girls, for your hippo. I think I'm going to name my hippo an H name is a name that starts with an H. This way I can remember it. Okay. I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Ooh, pretty cool, huh? Oh, missing the ears. Got to put the ears on. Can't hear without ears, right? He'll be just as deaf as I am. <laughs> Those of you who know Miss Nanya, she does have a very big hearing problem. So when you talk to me, you got to speak up. Okay. And I'm going to do the next one. So far, so good. This is actually working out. It's not falling apart on me. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, Hippo. What name should we call you? My name is Henry. Oh, H, Hippo. H for Henry. Oh, wow. Well, nice to meet you, Hippo. I'm so glad we made you today. Mm-hmm. I'm hungry. Oh, a hungry Hippo. Yep, that makes sense. A, a Hippo would be hungry. All right, Henry, we're just gonna put you down for a little bit to dry. And uh, 
This will give the boys and girls a chance to catch up. Okay, I hope you had fun making this hippopotamus, but before we go today, I want to do a little facts, uh, fact and fiction about hippos. Alrighty, this book says hippos are huge, so we know hippos are very, very big animals. And what else do you want to know today about hippos? Hmm? Well, they're huge. Pretty much like an elephant big and has the biggest mouth of any animal except a whale. Okay, look at that. They have razor sharp teeth. Look at that, feeding an alligator. And um, do you know they don't really swim? No, nope, they kind of just dive. <laughs> look at it back there, just diving. And they glide and they dance on their tippy tippy toes and they pretty much just kick their feet. And then they rise to the surface and they take some water and of course they like to spit it out. Spat! <laughs> what a mess. Wow, and they also roar. They're animals that roar. And then here's some baby hippos, look at that. Baby hippos, and they're all so like the big hippos, and they like to go on the surface too. Yup, hippos are huge, everybody. So if you'd like to check this book out, it'll be here near the story time area. You're more than welcome to come in and check that one out. And also, how many of you like poems? Well, this is by Jack Proluski. He is a very uh, funny, funny poet, and he put this book together. It's called, I've Lost My Hippopotamus. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't that be terrible to lose a hippopotamus? How could you lose a hippopotamus? Hmm. Well, let's listen to the poem. I've lost my hippopotamus. The situation's weird. One minute she was next to me, then poof, she disappeared. It's hard to lose a hippo, for a hippo's truly huge. I'm sensing something fishy, some unsavory subterfuge. I've searched and searched with no success. I've yet to find a clue to her status or location. I'm unsure of what to do. If you spot a hippopotamus where usually there's none, please let me know. The odds are good. You found my missing one. And I want to show you the picture. Where's the hippopotamus, boys and girls? <laughs> she didn't lose her hippopotamus. He was right under the bed the whole time. Isn't that silly, boys and girls? And don't forget, we have regular books on hippos. If you want to learn more about these wonderful creatures, you can come by and check out the books that I'll have on display and uh, you'll learn more about hippos. All right, boys and girls, are you ready to say goodbye? Goodbye, boys and girls. This is Henry. What did you name your hippo? Oh, I'd love it if you let me know and share it with me. Have a good day, everyone. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this craft and I'll be back on Thursday with another animal craft. Bye for now.